Greetings, hello, and welcome back to Summer Battle Tech. We are in the Flashpoint campaign, finally, in the next mission. Short engagement length, so probably just one or two missions here. And we are supposed to get a rare mech. Let's see what this is all about. Shut up, Yang. Um, I've performed the sensory for the planned surface to confirm that we talked about earlier, and everything checks out. The Dobrev is moored at a spaceport about 200 clicks beneath our fleet. Uh, our feet. We don't have a fleet. Let me just send that pal of yours a case of Jimmy and Kiri Dark. Okay, beer. Dark beer. I uh, wouldn't know where to find him, Yang. Guys on the run. Turns out he's been running his mouth to lots of people, and the Frontier's criminal underground really, really hates a snitch. Well, his bad luck, our luck. Don't start so just yet. There's a snack. We can't move on the spaceport, at least not directly. A complex surrounded by turrets. The moment the drop of replacement crew catches wind of us, they're gonna try to run. And injure themselves terribly when they attempt to jump. Maybe even destroy the ship. Yeah, and Bowman doesn't give two shits about that. Bowman has jumped the Dobra before, and if we back these people into a corner, they'll absolutely do it again. You know that the man is like. He wouldn't hesitate to maim his own employees if he felt that he could profit from it. Thankfully, I believe that we, the Mother Bear, and I have found a solution. Just a moment, I'll put it on the view screen. Just seeing a security post about 20 clicks north of the spaceport. If we capture this site, we can bring down the turrets and remotely engage the spaceport's docking clamps. Two birds, one stone. Clamps engaged, doors won't be going anywhere. Even the bombing group wouldn't try jumping a ship that's locked down to the tarmac. That sounds easy enough. We hit the complex, transfer control of computers to the mother mo mo bear, and then move on to the spaceport. Let's go, people. Hourglass. Oh, it's in the desert. Well, thankfully, I never have problems with heat. Come on, yeah. We might need more firepower. Shut up. Yeah, probably gonna. Um, if there's another. No, there is another. Then another chapter of this Flashpoint campaign. I'll probably get some of the higher tonnage max ready. I'm probably not gonna go for swords though. Let's see if we can just do it with maybe two heavies. Like get the archer ready and an Orion and stick with the Phoenix Hawk and the Griffin. Something like that. Command interface initiated. I lands down just out of down in the range. Defense will probably run on the heavy side. Approach with caution. But not too much caution. It is facility stats, so we can lock down the door's docking clamps. This mission won't count for much if the ship runs off again. Yeah. That's a fury. You know what to do. I feel a tremor. Like there's creatures living beneath the surface. Okay, someone watched too many old movies. That's an interesting objective. Advance on the objective. Yeah. Great game. Move closer to your target. Well, thanks for giving me that clear objective. Okay, what is this here? This is like a mineral field or something. So we've got some tree cover here that we can use. And I'm already got my eyes on the lake for some Receiving you. probably necessary cooling. Be there in the chair. 
Alright, there's an enforcer there. There's another 55 ton mech around the side. Rolling. On the move. Sensors have something. Uh, who are you? Number 50. Commander. I think we'll try to be a little bit sneaky here yeah, and hide around the corner. Like the terrain is kind of on our side here. Yeah? That's. yeah, that's. Moving to position. Right there, and then we're gonna um, reserve down, let them all move. Yeah, I immediately turn some dumb the moment they no longer sees anyone. That looks like we might have some shots in the back here. It also looks like we have the fourth enemy mech down here. Yeah, but these are not great shots, that's the problem. Well, make shots great again. Target locked on enemy stick. Ready for orders. Any shots? Uh, any any shots? Any chance we can get the guy down below? Receiving you. That's the side. Come on, give me give me the back. Standing by. Well, I think the shot I saw from Whistler. Yeah, that's a that's a shot in the back. Engaging jump jet. It's not a great shot, but we just need one of these SMs to hit. Thank you, game. Ready for orders. Multiple enemies. Locked in. I will be done. Um, let's shoot first. Ask questions later. Hopefully, we don't have to ask any questions anymore. I'm gonna leave one as I'm off because I need to move away again, right? With Ace Pilot here. Locked on rear arm. There we Come go. Come on, people, let's make it happen. I could also jump away to, well, which gives me a little bit of heat. Feels safer than running away. Affirmative. That guy hitting his AC ten now, that's kind of annoying. Light damage. Holding firm. What's up, boss? What's up, Commander? Ninety-five percent to hit, huh? 
Ooh, that's a laser hunchback. I don't like seeing that. I like seeing this though. Okay, maybe I should have moved the Phoenix up first. Commander? How are we gonna kill you all in one turn with two max? I mean, I, I would have a lot of evasion, but still, he has a lot of lasers. Hmm. No. I can't do it. Do it anyway. Target destroyed. Alpha strike. I need a new target. Waiting for orders. On my way. And I think we ruined the Hunchback's initiative here. And his leg. And his day. It's go time! Yeah, it didn't do much, eh? Mr. Jumpy McJumperson. Oh, that's not close enough for the small lasers. Honestly, I should jump behind him because he's entrenched and all that stuff. Uh, how healthy are you in, in the torso location? 105. when he like interrupts my jump in the middle it's like stop there for a second commander in the air please by the way why is like if I take a regular shot here I've got 85 to hit if I take precision strike it's still 85 to hit is precision strike capped now all weapons are go Let's hope we can start with that. Yeah. Okay, all of these shots are kind of interrupted by terrain here. So they will be awful. Terrible. Uh, I'm just gonna just gonna sprint in. On my way, double time. Orders? Position confirmed. Give me some Copy of that. that. Yes, Commander. And same thing here. You're just gonna sprint in. Going full throttle. Okay, are you an ace pilot and gonna move? Yeah. Would have been weird if you just stayed there. Also, what is this now? What is? A mineral field that makes you harder to hit. Yeah, I noticed kind of. Wait, you know what? No Seventy percent is good enough for me. Targets taking a critical hit. 
Standing by. Location confirmed. Firing. Commander? Target acquired. Okay. So we have, need to capture the base, but it also says something about pacifying the base. So I'm assuming there are turrets there, or maybe a second lance. Coordinates received. Uh, we are out of combat, though. Piece of cake. Acknowledge. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Uh, you're gonna tell me any any position this time? No, apparently not. Do I wait here until I know where the reinforcements are coming in? Cause I kind of want to know if I stay on the high ground or maybe move down here and have the water as additional cooling opportunities. I think I'm gonna embrace one turn. Ten four. Let's see if we can get any eyes on the enemy. No, not happening. Yeah. What can I do you for? Waiting for orders. Up high. All right. Ooh, seventy-five tons. All right, that's that's a tall order. I'm not gonna lie. I'm receiving you. Location confirmed. Also got some lights coming from over here. So hang on. Hmm. No Ryan. And he sprinted. Good to go. Well, you can't get in range. We can kind of sprint in range. Or maybe we should first of all um, get a little bit of an idea yeah. what we're dealing with there. Uh, if there's any other enemies around. You know, like a battle master. That hasn't moved yet. Beelining for this thing and capturing, but no, it doesn't matter. Like these are these are objectives, and all we need to complete all the objectives. It's not optional. Like they all have the big plus. <coughs> oh, that's one advantage of uh, playing BattleTech. The objectives are a big plus. Um, anyway, uh, Commander. Move order received. I think 50% is probably good enough for now. And I'm also thinking we're gonna precision strike the heck out of him. On it. Okay, he lost his evasive status. I'm here. I'm just gonna ignore the fact that there's a battle master around there. Lifting off. Worst case, next turn we just jump back behind this little rock and tell him, yep, yeah, 
you're not getting us. Ready for order. And we kind of need you down here. That's a Phoenix Org, isn't it? Why is he moving in the light mech face? That's a lot of evasion. Something I can do. Yeah, you could kill that guy for me, please. Consider it done. Okay, Mr. Ryan, I'm assuming that you have not enough health in the center torso. So if I hit both shots there, then you would actually be down. Alternatively, you could go for the head. Fire in all weapons. I think the second shot just flat out missed there. Yes, Commander. We have something that can blow up in the center now. Good to go. Yeah, that's do a call shot there. Everything I got. Okay. Pilot injury. Inflicted some heavy damage. Destroyed some of his weapons. That's all fine. And there's no down to 60. Just trying to figure out how much heat I can use in my attack here and still being able to jump back behind the rock. overheat I can just walk I could just walk behind the rock I guess I hope that the battlemaster no longer has eyes on me I think normally you would see an eye there if they can see you like if I move here you see that red blinking eye that's not here of Ram course he up. can just move I guess I would not be fair like why would you move it's completely unrealistic Imagine that enemy max moving. Um, and over here. Gotcha. Who's that? It's Buddha. It's uh, Buddha somewhere else. Copy that, Commander. The battle master does have mana side. To the hunchback. Hey, Commander, I'm taking some hits, huh? Yeah. Crazy how that happens, huh? Phoenix Oak on Phoenix Oak action here. Yeah? It also means he has barely any evasion. 
Um, Order. Let's move you somewhere where I hope the Metal Master will not find me. And try to finish off the spider. Hostile eliminated. I'm ready. Location confirmed. Okay, so the spider is also part of the was part of the reinforcements. That's good to know. Lost evasive is exactly also what I wanted to see here. Standing by. Taking the shot. Target's taking a critical hit. Okay, can we kill you? Waiting for order. I think we've been a little bit hot. Lifting up. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Taking the shot. I might be able to kill him with the alarms next turn. Okay, and he didn't have any any attacks to do. Very nice. Yeah, Commander. Uh, let me actually double check here. You're not in vision of the battle master. Okay, cool. But we also did manage to kill the Phoenix Oak. Not so cool. Systems holding. As a Battletech purist, I still fully think that you should not be able to stand up and then jump. That just... I'm receiving. That's just not right. That's a lot of evasion. Um, hang on, how how am I in line of sight of the guy there? It's showing me a flashing eye. Or is it like a? Because someone else sees me, he can indirect fire on me? Because it's like not deep red? Yeah, no, he, he doesn't have line of sight. I don't believe that. I can hide Confirm. behind this little rock. And precision strike you with all of that. Firing on target. Reporting enemy battle mech down. Good night, sweet prince. Waiting for orders. Move order received. On the other hand, like, I can still see him. I don't just see a red silhouette, so someone has Commander? put on a side here. Unless that's you. Uh, you seem to be too far away to actually have line of sight. Do we go for a capture here? Yeah, let's just 
just move into the capture zone and cool down for a turn. Incoming transmission. Very persistent, Commander. Ava. Like a bad rash. You can't. I just can't seem. I just can't seem to get rid of you. Well, you should maybe see a doctor about that rash. Could crack the first joke about that, but it's too easy. Sorry, Yang. You're too late already. It's coming for you. It's no laughing matter. I've hired a new kill team. They'll keep your company. A woman ground crew prepares the job for departure. Incoming assault max. Are you talking about these guys we're already seeing, or are we gonna have another Lancia? I think the game again yes, kind of hurt itself in its confusion. And it's talking about the max that are already on the field. Location confirmed. They wouldn't put a second. Uh, Second assault lands in here, right? Alright, let's just end this headshot. Good night. You got it. That's a critical hit. You're supposed to hit that. Waiting for orders. Let's see how you like this. Reporting. Critical hit. Hmm. Is there anything here that can explode? As I ammo, bunch of medium lasers. Yeah, if we take down that that side torso, that's a lot of his Standing by. damage potential gone. I would say. Yeah, who needs cover if you can get evasion? Huh? Engaging jump jet. Okay, side torso it is. All the lasers. Firing. There you go. Scored a critical Did hit. not like that, huh? Did ya? Still three medium lasers on a PPC. On the other side, okay. Waiting for orders. Probably the whistler is a little bit hot. So I could move into the water, fire, maybe bulwark. Do we have anything here that concerns us? Left side? Not really. I could just angle myself so that he doesn't hit the damaged left arm. Yeah. Acknowledged. Let's do that. Uh, vigilance. And uh, give him a full shooty shoot. Here it comes. Inflicted some heavy damage. Barely hit, Commander. He still hit though. Like you have eight evasion pips, and he's like, "Yep, yeah, just gonna hit you with my PPC." Uh, right, Whistler needs to move first. Well, it's time to kill. Position confirmed. Targeted for now. Target neutralized. That's done it, Commander. I've gained access to the complex computer and transferred control to the Mama Bear. Thank you, Doctor. I have deactivated the spaceport's turret and engaged the spaceport's docking clamps. The Dobrov won't be going anywhere without my permission. Hang on a second. I'm getting a comm message over an unknown channel. Bowman again, I'm sure. But wait, Mother, this can't be happening. I just can't. What is it, Maya? Who do we have on the line? Goddamn Black Widow, that's who. 
Natasha, the Black Widow, Kerensky. Did we hear the name before in this campaign? I think so, yes. Kerensky? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did I miss something, Commander? When did our search for Dobrev turn into a meet and greet with Natasha Effing Kerensky? Uh, Legendary McCoy, the commander of the infamous Black Widow Company. Known aliases include the Black Widow, the Queen of Spades, and the First Lady of Death. In mercenary circles, Natasha Kerensky is commonly considered the most dangerous mech warrior alive. She is a deadly fighter, both in and out of the cockpit, and she has demonstrated a willingness to commit shocking acts of violence with little to no provocation. Sounds like my kind of woman. Better put her through. If there's one mech warrior we don't want to leave hanging, the Black Widow it is. Better get to the view screen, and you better do it now. Mission successful. Tasha, baby, what are you doing here? Okay, no permanent damage here. Um, hello, complete battle master. Hello, still no lasers worth looting. I guess we can always take more plus 10 damage lasers, right? And then... Some of that other crap. Still don't know who gets the rest of the salvage when it's really just us there. But whatever. Probably going into Darius' private sh stash. So, what's up here? That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. Hourglass, part two. Tell us what you need, and I'll do my best to make it happen. I called to talk to the commander, not a switchboard operator. Ah, oh. love it already. I'm right here. Good. I don't want this to take any longer than it has to. You've been shadowing the drop ref, trailing it to its every port of call, having friendly chats with the bounty hunter and men whom I publicly marked for death. I wouldn't really call it friendly chats. He's no friend, he's a grandstanding asshole who gave as a crate. But you received that crate, took it into your ship, you still have what you found inside. Uh, well, how do you know so much about us here? Quite a few of Bowman's pirates, one of the bounty hunters associates too. Counted no difficulty getting them to talk. Yeah, I guess. The Dobrev has a history that you can't know. It shouldn't exist and neither should its payload. It's a problem and I intend to solve it. Uh, yeah, good question. Words are cheaper than bullets, but don't mistake my willingness to talk for weakness. Every word from my mouth carries an ultimatum. You'll follow my instructions. If you don't, your company will die. Um. Yeah, I'm listening. It uh, doesn't mean I'll do what you say. I want the bounty hunter's crate, along with anything else that came from the derelict. The machine intelligence you're babysitting too. Dump everything at the Bowman Group's spaceport. I want it piled near the rubber when I arrive. Uh, so you can slag it all in one go? That's right. I value efficiency. Meet them and you'll escape with your life. Do anything else and you won't. The choice is yours. Well, I thanks that we were able to negotiate that. Should. And you know what any of that was about? 
not a clue, but her name is Natasha Kerensky and we're chasing General Alexander Kerensky's Exodus. That can't be a coincidence, can it? Is it? Maybe? Could she be a descendant of this, perhaps? The same that everyone named Patel is related to all the other Patels, and all the people named Smith live together on a communal farm on Andreas. Do you not have a big party with every Myers uh, now and then? No? Still, the job of has been floating out in deep for the past 50 years, and who knows where before that. The Black Widow shouldn't know anything about that shit. Nobody should. And none of this matters right now, Doctor. We have a serious problem. If the Black Widow Company reaches the spaceport, there's nothing we can do to keep the Dubbrev safe. It's too large a target, and with the docking clamps in place, our derelict will be a sitting duck. And then we have to disengage the clamps. Hello, Mr. Bowman. Calling to gloat, or do you intend to demand a ransom for my ship? You won't get it. I already have reinforcements on the way. I don't even get to make a decision here if I want to just agree to um, the Black Widow's command, uh, demands here. I just, okay, we're releasing the clamps, run. Still have material at the spaceport. Um, don't try your patience. Take your goddamn ship and run. Two steps forward, two steps back. But at least we have a shot at the scooping up whatever they left at the spaceport. We'll have to meet the Black Widow there to do it. She'll be as eager to destroy whatever contraband bomber left behind as we are able, as we are to acquire it. God help our Mac warriors if they have to face off against the Black Widow. Sounds to me like we need a distraction, something to peel the angry lady away from her lands. You think your drones would be up to it, Mama Bayan? It sounded like the Widow had you on her hit list. She called you out specifically. If you took a swing at her, she'd probably sit up and take notice. Agreed. I will do what I can to lure away from the rest of her company. That's what I like to hear, Mama Bear. Come on, Doc. You're with me. Let's get our salvage team ready for the drop. And, Exo, you'd better give our Mac Warriors the mother of all pep talks. They're gonna need it. Okay. A defend base in the desert. And apparently the Black Widow is coming, or is she not? Now when we draw the Black Widow's attention away from our area, which should by Yang and me enough time to ransack the spaceport, we're relying on your lands to protect us from anyone else who might come along. Okay, so Black Widow herself will not come, but anyone else who's coming we have to fight off. What's the timer saying? The timer is saying we're gonna do that part in the next episode. So I'm gonna put a cut in here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.